Carson Performance Elvis Presley Oh, so different isn't it having a convertible S15 <laughs> <laughs> This almost makes me horny <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see you Charlotte, take care Love your Peugeot <laughs> They're actually S15 lights, but with NSX R34 GTR, I'm man. I'm sorry. Jesus I'm Christ, I'm so guys. sorry. It's hot, it's hot. <laughs> Good afternoon, you lovelies. Welcome back to another cheeky little monkey episode. Wearing those absolute monkey noms available on the old website. Weather is a little bit miserable today and I'm actually gonna have a cheeky little car wash. Probably you think it's pointless. Reese's dad was in the area uh, from Car Butler Detailing. He very kindly said he'd just come over and do me a quick little maintenance wash. The interior is pretty dirty and I'm gonna be heading off to Germany in the next couple of weeks to see a lovely lady and I'm gonna be going to the Nürburgring as well. Maybe not to drive, but just to experience it. Depends really on all of the opening hours. We'll go and check out what all the boys are up to at Carson Performance, go and see Scouse and Lewis. Thought it'd be nice to take you guys along with me. One good thing about the rain is it is like free dug it juice. Obviously it doesn't really wear the tires down, doesn't really stress the car out of the chassis, which is pretty good. The tires at the back, they're not illegal. Um, but they are getting pretty close, so it's probably good that it's raining today so that John doesn't completely destroy the tyres. <laughs> Naughty John. Bloody John, what a nightmare. I've also got some good news as well. Fingers crossed I've got a, um, a polyurethane bush company on board. It's not strong flex because Jamie doesn't actually do Many, he only does like one bush set for the F80. I'm sure he's going to develop them as time goes on. But for now, I'm trying to um, sort of speak with a, another company. Fingers crossed we can get them on board. I'm going to do a whole load of um, bush replacements. There's nothing wrong with the bushes on this car, but I just want to get the, the chassis just a tiny bit stiffer for a little bit of John action. Everyone loves a tiny bit of John action. Mild John. Anyway, I'll be down at the farm in about sort of five, ten minutes. I'll see you guys down there in a bit. <laughs> slippery.com Carson Performance Carson Performance <laughs> How you doing man? I haven't right. seen you well for a good four or five days remember we're drawing symptoms I know, it was usually every day Yeah but how are you? <laughs> good man, good Yeah you're busy which is really good Always busy Yeah you've got loads yeah, of really busy, loving it Look at that What a beautiful GT86. <laughs> oh, NOS. Oh, S15 lights. I take it that's for your new purchase? Witness. Yeah. Spec that's S coming in. Yeah, I've actually bought so many parts for already. Body kit, a spoiler, You're steel an wheel. I'm looking at mine seats. All you need now is a turbo. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> DE for the win. <laughs> this is cool, man. 80 PSI, lots of clutch kicks. And that's coming in from Mr. Muzzy. Yeah, coming from Douglas Mods. Yeah. Which I'm getting in the container, which is quicker. So actually, it's only a couple of months rather than waiting three months to go on the boat and potentially not get the boat, so, yeah. which is good. Spec S as well, so it's a little bit cheap on the cheap, because spec cars now, they've just gone bonkers. People charge it, ask me for like 15 bags for a stock spec R. Yeah, Mad. when all the good spec R bits, I can put in like, you know, it's like the arms are reinforced, bits like that. That I can do myself on the Spec S, and then I'm going to change the engine eventually anyway. Yeah, so, so what, what are you going for? A CA18, yeah? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 2J! 2J, finally! And then eventually a rather sizeable big single turbo. Yeah, man, yeah. Be good. Big turbo, bit of NOS. Yeah, man. It's going to be good. How you doing, Dad? <laughs> Reese's brand new hoodie, look at that beautiful embroidery. I think it's a new one now, you can get it. Preferential treatment, look. <laughs> Hey. Either you've been at, on the sunbeds or you've been on holiday. Rust. <laughs> 32 years out in the great British weather. It's rust. Your quality, man. Rust. As you guys can see, car butler detailing. I know it is rainy, but like I said, I'm off to the Nürburgring in about a week's time. There's a lot of bugs on the car. There's an awful lot of brake dust as well on the wheels, no comment. That is why I've got car butler detailing, just to keep the car spick and span so we can keep it all in lovely condition.
is looking a lot pimp. We've certainly got rid of all that brake dust from uh, Mr. John. Absolutely, yeah, all gone. Nasty brake dust. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing we're actually going to do is a PPF, which is paint protection film. Yeah, track days, etc. I mean, you, obviously you've got rubber sticking out from other people's cars, etc. It's hot, it's sticky, it does get stuck. Um, can leave a mark on the paintwork if you're not careful. So if we paint protection film it, just the front end, just a bit of protection. The rest of it, if it does hit the front end, it'll flick up. By the time it lands anywhere, it's cold, so it won't stick. Yeah. So we're protected. Happy days, All man. about the car. We do that down at the studio. Quickly show you guys inside, because the car was pretty filthy, pretty greasy inside, and as you can see now, it looks a hundred times better. I love the stripes as well. They put in all the carpets, makes it look proper posh. Wheels are now looking absolutely fantastic. All of that grind that was down the bottom of the car. Quite nice, this car, because it's never had any family or kids in it, so you can see the leather's literally never been sat in, so it still looks absolutely mint. One thing you guys will notice as well, the water is kind of sort of beads off the paintwork. The ceramic base wash that we use is our own stuff. It's our, it's our own chemist, sort of bolster what we've already done. So it keeps it all nice and fresh and yeah, looking cool. sweet. It's mad, it's almost like you make it all in house, it's like breaking bad. We've done a lot of research. You said you've been yeah. doing it 32 years this? 32 years. I would have I said you're about 32 myself. Uh, no, I, <laughs> 32 years, I started in 1988. Crazy. And there man. we go, so I'm an old E-Reg. It's kind of reassuring like, for people watching if they want to get their cars done. Um, they can kind of trust in you that you've been around for, not saying you're old, but you've been around for a long time and you've, yeah. you've, you've tested um, out a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, way back when the SLR McLaren came out, when it was sort of first in production, I was called down to McLaren to iron out any rough bits that they might have with the paintwork. All the direct cars at McLarens we used to do once a week. Right. Uh, obviously the new age McLarens come through. I was privileged enough to wash the last F1 oh, that came out of the showroom in Park Lane back to Shearwater right. before it was contained up and shipped off out to wherever it went. You've seen, so, some, yeah, you've seen we, some pretty special cars by the we, sounds of We've it. seen some special cars. Yeah. And now you're yeah. doing this old trolley. up. Well, hey! It's, <laughs> it's German. It's good engineering. Yeah. Before you head off, I just want to show the audience your van. You've got your livery on the back. Obviously everybody knows this one. Yeah, this is actually Reese's car. Carbon trim as well, posh. Absolutely. Check that out, it's pretty sick. But the livery on this is pretty sick. So we've got Marilyn Monroe. Absolutely. We've got Elvis Presley. Absolutely. Marilyn back down here and Elvis Presley again. Yep. And not what's this VW Transporter? Yeah, a little bit different. T32, Sportline front end, it's petrol. I remember when they reviewed the Sportlines, they were like sort of mad, mad money, weren't they, when they came out? Yeah, unfortunately, by the time I finished specking this one up, the way I wanted it. <laughs> Probably the same price. I could have gone and got one for the same money. <laughs> On the other side as well. Yeah, we... Um, oh, very cool, man. Unfortunately, we, we have to pay homage. Kentucky Kid, Nicky Hayden, unfortunately taken from us in a training accident a couple of years ago. Very sad, ex-world champ. Marco Simoncelli, same again. What a racer. Proper racer. Was not liked in the paddock because he was a real racer. Oh, cool, yeah. Everybody knows this man. 46. It's a universal language. The GOAT, the greatest of all time, Mr. Rossi. Yeah. We'll skip this fella for a minute. Jorge Lorenzo, tragic, but what a rider. This man needs no introduction, Mark Marquez. I take it you're a bit of a MotoGP fan. Yeah, just slightly. Great to been, see, been man. Been a few times. Did you ride yourself? Been there, done that, getting too old. <laughs> this fella, we left him till last. Slight tip for everybody. If you've got 20 quid and you're a betting person, stick 20 quid on him to win next season. Fabio Quattararo, Quattararo, proper, proper. He's come from nowhere. Mate, he's just stunning. He is gonna give Mr. Marquez a run for his money. It's great to see, man. So this is kind of like a sort of homage to some of the greatest riders out there, really. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Interior is a bit different if you want to go yeah. that way. We'll have a quick little look at the interior. Hey, look at that quilted leather inside the van. That is proper sick. This is a really tricked out van, not gonna lie. What's the mileage on it? 32,000, it's barely run in. Lovely looking van, isn't it? Obviously, when you go and see clients, you want them to have a professional image, and I think you can't really get more professional than one of these. You've been an absolute gent. Thanks so much, man. It's great to see you No again. problem. We will see you soon. Yeah, probably in about a couple of weeks. And I did actually say I got my mum's DC5 Integra. She's been like rubbing bird shit off it and stuff. Get it in. We'll get it sorted. Yeah. Mum's birthday's coming up. Be a good son. Onwards, sir. Lovely to see you. And you. Send my love to Reese. Take care. Be careful with the John action. <laughs> Standard. See there, man. Car is looking absolutely mint now. You can really kind of see the, the shine in the paintwork. Shame it was raining, but like we said, he was close by and he, he thought he'd just come by and do a nice little maintenance wash for Absolute Legends. Massive thumbs up to Car. Button of detail, I'll put their details down here.
painting now interior is looking absolutely lovely but you guys can't smell it but it smells proper fresh all that all that dust and all that grime has, has all disappeared what's going on today at the workshop i thought we should just show the audience what's going down in fact considering you are now an exceptional cameraman i think <laughs> you should just take the camera and do the do a little tour yeah i can do yeah i'll show you what we've done one of the cars we finished off this morning subaru forester it's already been collected and gone, but uh, yeah, we've got a couple of other cars to show you around. And you've got an R33 GTS downstairs. GTS, yeah. Um, yes, relatively stock. We've done a few poly bushes where the original ones have worn out over the years, but other than that, it's relatively stock. I'm going to make the boys a cup of tea. Sounds nice. Good to you. Cool. <laughs> Go and do some filming, you slag. We're going to go and have a little look at a very cool Varietta, which is a S15 convertible, owned by a lady called Charlotte. This actually used to be red, so didn't sorry. it? It's got yeah. pink power, which, I mean, we need some good sun to be able to see properly, but... It does look pretty cool, to be fair. Pretty cool. Just had these new, very expensive 326 power wheel nuts. More money than I'd want to spend on wheel nuts. Should we see how the roof goes down? Because maybe the audience have never seen the roof go down. It's no. a good looking car because it is an S15. But it looks so much better with the roof down. It looks like a Peugeot. 406. Oh yeah, 406 coupe. Yeah, yeah 406 coupe, man. Look at this, man. Gareth is doing something pretty crazy. This is his S14. He's actually doing a S15 front end conversion. And these lights he's doing here, they're actually S15 lights, but with NSX lights sort of integrated into them. Is that right, Scousey? Yeah, it's a new model Honda NSX lights, which do look cool. I, I reckon I... there'll be a, a light company copying this design anytime <laughs> soon, and they'll sell them for a fraction of the price that Gareth has made. I heard Gareth wasn't the first to do it either. Yeah, yeah. He says he was pioneering, <laughs> and then I found the exact one and sent it to him about a week ago. It's pretty mad, though. I guess they're pretty expensive. Did he get them brand new from Honda? No, they come from Breaker. Yeah, they come from Breaker. Oh, a Breaker right, and an America. NSX already, how savage. <laughs> yeah, Shopping man, can you imagine? crashing a brand new NSX, but yeah, that is pretty crazy. So if you guys have never seen NSX lights integrated into S15 lights, well, now you have. R34 GTR, <laughs> I'm man. Sorry. Jesus I'm Christ, I'm so Gals. sorry. We need to actually, Martin has promised we'll do a little review at some point with this car. Oh, that'd be great. It's yeah. a good car, really good car, the best color, the best car. Yeah. Like, if I won the lottery, this is it. I would literally buy this car. Like, yeah. it's Bayside Blue, lovely. man. It does look absolutely gorgeous. I just spotted some tubs. Who did the tubs, Lewis or Scouse? Join effort. <laughs> uh, okay, I did the hard bit and Lewis welded them in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One side's got mad graphics, the other side hasn't got graphics. What? Is that some sort of trick? Look at the side, man. Adam's got these absolutely crazy graphics car. down the side. Loads of pink, we like that. Very uh, Yashio factory, pretty cool. Look at that terrible sticker on the back. Oh, who put that on there? Rubbish. Look at that, that's the best sticker, actually. Fed Sport Performance. We did just get very distracted by all the sick JDMs in the car park, but yeah, Scouts are just gonna dry the old roof off with this lovely car detailer's mix. Car butler detailing would be very proud of you now. It's nice to see with this variator as well. Some of them I've seen in the past, they're like, they're really in not good condition. This one's pretty mint isn't it what year is it 2000 2000 so that is my mass is bad but i know it's 2020 so that's 20 years old oh here we go fiesta resistance it is raining but um charlotte's been very kind and let us open it quickly it's pretty cool man i like this it's so different isn't it having a convertible s15 look at that that's, this is one for the ladies that's sick man it's pretty neat isn't it and very pretty quick for the considering it's 20 years old that is cool. So yeah, that is what the car looks like with the roof down. I will admit, it looked pretty cool with the roof up, but that looks sick. That is the S15 Varietta in all her glory, looking absolutely fantastic. What wheels are they, Charlotte? Um, 720 star 55. 720, cool, man. Oh, it's got pillarless windows as well. Him. I'll chuck Charlotte's Instagram there. If you guys want to give her a cheeky little follow, feel free. Status error nom noms. Where's the Monkey London sticker? Yeah. Terrible! www.monkeylondon.com Do a Where's buy. the Adam LZ sticker? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, all S15s look slightly 406, but the 406 Coupe was a Pinaferina car, have you know? Yes. God, wow, what's this? Amazing blue machine. Didn't even notice Some it. amazing what guy must have partly uh, not owned that, but yeah, thank you, willtogafloricars.com. <laughs> Do a, do a boy. What do you guys think in the audience? Is it we, Are you pleased to have Monkey back or really are these just the new stars of the show? I think they need a bit of Monkey every now and again. But I love Scouse. To be fair, Scouse is going to be getting a camera soon. He's been borrowing mine and I've said it's not. he's already broken it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us know if you guys would like to see more from these two right there, beautiful guys. people. Charlotte, you are now free to go. Oh no, you got to pay your bill first. Yeah, pay your bill. I noticed a few of you guys as well were asking about the VW Beetle. 
That was in the background. This is actually owned by a mate of mine called Dylan, who's a he's a really, really sick drifter. I think he's had it sort of sitting around for quite a few years now, but he's gonna try and get a few bits done to it. I can't remember what, what these wheels are. are. They BRMs or something? I'm trying to sort of hop back to when I used to like getting that Volksweld or whatever it's called, VW World or Volksweld magazine. Uh, I think they're like BRMs. The tailpipes in the back. The S15, which you guys have seen quite a lot for. Personally, I think this car should have some motorsport rims on it. I'm not a fan of massive deep dish, but that, that's my preference. And whoever um, whoever ends up buying it will no doubt love it. But yeah, personally, I think that should have a slightly smaller set of wheels on it just to kind of make it look a, a bit more motorsporty. Cost and performance. Scousey's GT86, which is the most ridiculously loud GT86 in the country, literally sounds like a WRX. Wizzo's S15, can't wait to get on his door and do a crash -o. Oh, look at that S15. Oh, it almost makes me horny. R33 GTST in the workshop. Silvery grey, a little bit different. I'll see what the guys are doing around the front. I believe they're just kind of doing a, a bit of a service. RB25. That's not a Neo, is it? That's just a normal RB25. I know Neo came in the R34. Oh, GTT, yeah. The Neos are easy to spot um, if it has been swapped in something else because they have a plastic cam cover up the front. Got you. Whereas all the, uh, the normal R33 runs and kite, they think come with a metal cool, one. Cool, cool. Quite mad with these RB25 is how the intake manifolds almost, well, the throttle body and all the intercooler pipe, it goes over the top of the engine. It goes the wrong way, yeah. They've, they've obviously done it just because they don't want to compete with the RB26 because this is obviously 250 horsepower, yeah. the RB26 276, which is obviously restricted, yeah. but this just helps bring horsepower down. So to be honest, if they had a proper plenum on here, going at the front, it would probably be too efficient, it'd be too close to the RB26. Got you, man. I would imagine. Yeah. I mean, that's what, yeah. I do like the R33 because a lot of people say they're one of the best chassis out there for the Skyline. Gals doesn't like the R33. What? 32 and 34. They are, my favourite is the 32, without a shadow of a doubt, then the 34. But, you know what, a really big sort of horsepower R33 GTR. They I would, they I would not nice. say no. They drive nice. I wouldn't they say, nice. I don't agree with you, man. We're going to have to beg to differ on that one. I think they're, they got their, they're cool in their own right. Just not as cool as state forwards. <laughs> <laughs> silly, silly boat. No, I do like the R33s, man. They do have a, a special place in my heart. To be fair, all Skylines do. I think they're a real sort of appreciating classic. That's a little look on the inside. 138, is that kilometers or miles? Kilometers. So that's about 85, maybe 1,000 miles. 8 by 90, yeah. Which yeah. isn't a lot. What year is this one? It's N, so it's like 96. 96, yes. Yeah. So that's not a lot of miles actually for the year of the car. No. We can see there the chap's got an Apex AVCR boost controller. Relatively stock. The only real performance modifications it's got is actually poly bushing, where the original bushes wore out and we upgraded them to something better. Nice. Strong flex, of course. Yeah, strong flex, strong flex, strong flex, strong flex. <laughs> strong flex, strong flex. Look at that, Scouts has got the monkey clock. Can't really say that about me. I'm actually pretty much on time these days. I mean, you are you late today? You're late. I was not late. Yeah, okay, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see you, Charlotte. Take care. Love your Peugeot. <laughs> Look at that. That's a lovely looking car, that is. It's so different, isn't it? That variator doesn't matter. I reckon people who don't know what GTS is are going to be like, what the hell is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 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 Look at that beautiful banner, definitely available on MarkyLondon.com. Do, uh, do a buy, everybody. Explain what they are, Scousey. So this is a, you see a power steering bracket for a JZ, one JZ, two JZ. So originally you've got your aircon pump, which you remove the aircon pump, but this also acts as power steering bracket. Uh, so a lot so of us use the kind of lead A lot of people use there. the cover, make yeah. something else. But yeah, I've got a... Uh, my own one made up. Okay. I say my own one. We're just going to test this on my JZ, make sure it works, um, and then yeah, I'm actually going to start producing them. Do a buy. I'm actually going to jump back in the M thrice now and head home and start doing a little bit of editing and finish off the simulator video I've been doing. Yeah, hopefully you guys like the sim action. Really nice to be cracking on with the filming. Hopefully you guys are loving the content. Make sure you hit that like button. It's really, really important. And yeah, chuck any comments down below. We'll always do our best to get back to you. All right, lovelies. Fist bumps, parts of performance. We've got to get the old fist bumps back, man. Look at that. It's so nice to be back with you boys, man. I'm happy. Monkey's a happy boy. Bye, everyone.